heard that engine revving up there over in Stanley Park, don't you, Bay? The Gold Stream. Oh, yes, and the nice thing about the early parts of the morning in Stanley Park is it actually still feels like the night. We are here. Yes, there's Tony, there's Brett. We're here on the Stanley Park Ghost Train, which is a tradition for many, many families. That's fantastic, Tony. Thank you very much. We're going to stop. I'm going to get out and learn a little bit about this family tradition that's been around. Tony, for what, about 16, 17 years? That's correct. 16, 17 years, by the way. This is your son, Brett. Do you want to turn around and give us a little bit of a wave? I'll get on this side here so we can get all your best angles. Um, how long have you been driving the train? I've been here 16 years now. Wow, so um, what's your favorite part about driving the ghost train? Well, it's awesome. It's awesome to have a job that makes uh, people have fun and uh, be excited to come down. There's always kids here and, uh, uh, you know, just seeing all the smiling faces, it's a, it's a fun job. Including this one here. Tell me, uh, Brett, what's your favorite part about the train? Look at the Frankenstein. Oh, the Frankenstein, which is what we should point out, too, that there's a theme uh, each year. We're doing a bit of a repeat, but the theme this year is what? Yeah, it's classic horrors. So uh, there's things here from the Phantom to Dracula, Mrs. Frankenstein, of course, Frankenstein. Yeah, and we're gonna um, see a little bit throughout the morning. Tell us a little bit about your train here. Yeah, this train, it's, uh, the original train is at the uh, Roundhouse in Vancouver, and this is a replica of the CPR um, 374, which is the first train to roll into Vancouver. That is fantastic, and um, how many people can you fit on this train? About 70 people fit on a train, and we have about three trains going at a time. Excellent, uh, and it's, it's a pretty uh, fun experience is it scared? Do you still get scared when you're driving by? Probably not. Just yeah. by some of the well, people. <laughs> sometimes the performers will throw, yeah, yeah, that's right, the public. Yeah. But the performers will throw some surprises in there as well. Oh, yeah, and I love it. I mean, Sharon, it's absolutely perfect that it's it's dark right now at this time of day yeah. because this is kind of the experience that people have when they make their way here to the Stanley Park Ghost Train. Thank you, Tony and Brett, uh, our wonderful conductor and engineer in training. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, so once again, we are here at Stanley Park for the Stanley Park Ghost Train. We're sharing. This is a bit of a family tradition for people for many, many years. Tell us a little bit about how you got involved. Yeah. Well, I started off working with uh, as a performer. The producing company of the show aspect of Ghost Train is Mortal Coil Performance Society, and um, I'm currently co-artistic director of the company. But I started like 12 years ago as a, an actor out in the woods. Kind of uh, like what we're seeing right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, there's Dracula right now. Yeah, <laughs> and so you were an actor and yep. um, and now here you are helping kind of the creative process of it. Um, so it's horror classics. So yep. what would people be seeing, for instance, in this particular area? So we took all of the characters from the sort of old 1930s, 1940s classic horror films. So Phantom of the Opera, um, the old Dracula, um, the werewolf, uh, no, even Nosferatu, which is the, a 1920s film, but um, which is the sort of original Dracula. Um, what else? There's Frankenstein. And, and so people would make their way through the train. How long is the actual route? The ride is about a 15 minute ride. Yep, and um, so there are actors throughout the park, as the, so the audience is on the train, and uh, they go around the train, and the actors are performing in various sites. Now, we're going to make our way back to the train. By the way, um, you're expected to be quite busy for yes, Halloween. absolutely. Right? But when can people still um, make their way here to the Stanley Park Ghost Train? We're still open November 1st, so, um, yeah, they can come down on Sunday, November 1st. Go ahead, 1st. Tony. And uh, make their way here for yeah. the final ride. For the final ride. For the Stanley Park Ghost Train. And yes, important to note that the actors are very interactive. And in fact, is this Dracula making his way here to us right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, Tony, it. you can't drive a little faster, bit. can you? Can you drive a little faster? <laughs> well, we're just about done our tour of the Stanley Park Ghost Train, where um, how many actual scenes are there? There are scenes all through the park. Uh, I, I think there's six scenes. And we're actually making our way through one of them right now, which actually happens to be Phantom of the Opera. And of course, we've got our, our wonderful actor here right now as we speak. And we should point out that this is such an interactive part of the experience for people that are making their way here to the Stanley Park Ghost Train. Yeah, it's tremendous, and it's pretty scary this morning. I mean, we've seen that we've seen this our second scene today, and uh, you know, kids just love it. And uh, great addition to our park, and it's been running for 16 years here. And you have actually a bit of a personal history with this. Yeah, I was a young lad when it was uh, being built. My father worked for the park board, so I remember coming down and watching the construction of the train and being excited, just like uh, kids are today when they come to the train. Fantastic. Very exciting. Yeah, and you know, it's exciting. It's fun. It's perfect for the season, but there also is a charity component. 
component as well. Yes, there is. We're asking people to bring a non-perishable item to the uh, down for the Vancouver Food Bank. So uh, that's a charity component of it, and we're really happy at the Park Board to support that. And of course, expect it to be busy on Halloween, no question, but people still have a chance the day after to make their way here. Yeah, the, the, the horror continues <laughs> on it's, Sunday as well. The walk home, right? <laughs> yeah, after a, a party all Halloween, you can make your way here to the Stanley Park Ghost Train, which again has been a tradition for many, many years. Make it yours this year through November 1st.